Side Royal LePage Place, Trevor Miller here with you. 6-5, the Trail Smoke Eaters. Knock off the West Kelowna Warriors in overtime tonight. Uh, take a look at the highlights and how this game went down. It was a wild one, including a seven-goal opening period. Uh, but there were some good saves in there, too. Rourke Appleby with a good save early on before Ethan Warner opened the scoring, the first of his three in the hockey game. Warner on the power play at 234 with a shot from the left circle that got up and over the glove side of Rourke Appleby and the Warriors down by a goal early on in this game. Trail picks up the one to nothing lead before at 452. Felix Caron picking up a marker. Nice little move by Caron to the backhand and past the blocker side of the goaltender Ryan Parker as it's Caron who picks up his 28th goal of the year at 452. Sean Cohen, Jackson, Kirkostas drawing the assists on the goal. And the Warriors able to make it a 1-1 hockey game on the marker by Karam before it's 7.50. It's Trey Osmus, his first BCHL goal on the power play. Osmus at the midpoint, chucking a puck to the front of the net. Jack Pritton providing the screen in front. And that gets by Ryan Parker on the blocker side. Osmus from Vigo Nordstrom and Elliott Compton on the power play at 7.50. Give the Warriors a 2-1 lead before Isaiah Norland with his 12th of the year at 8.22. Two goals in a span of 32 seconds. Norland's 12th from Caden Kim, Karen Hummel, and Brennan Nelson gives the Warriors a 3-1 lead. But Trail, right after the media timeout, cut the deficit to one. Ridge Dawson from the top of the right circle, right off the faceoff. Dawson moved in with a shot past the blocker side of Rorick Appleby. 19th goal of the year, 10-19, made it a 3-2 game before Ethan Warner, second of the period, walking down the right wing side. Warner on the backhand over Appleby and in, and it makes it a 3-3 game, 12-08 the time of the goal, and this game all knotted up once the game before the period was out, and 51 seconds later, Cal Hughes' power play goal rips a one-time shot from the right circle up and over the glove side shoulder of Ryan Parker, Goal for Hughes is 21st of the year on the power play from Karan and Trent Wilson to make this game 4-3 going into the second period. Parker, a good save on Felix Karan. Appleby, a huge stop here on Griffin Bucci. That was with the game 4-3 and a big save on Bucci from the left face off circle to keep the Warrior lead at a goal. And that was important because the Warriors jumped ahead by a pair at 15-17. Jack Pridham, 18th goal of the season, slipping this puck through the legs of the goaltender in Marshall into the back of the net. Pridham picking up the marker. It'll be Car or, uh, Hughes and Karan who will draw the assists on the goal and the Warriors uh, jumping ahead by a 5-3 score to go into the third period where it was the Smoke Eaters who would make their way back from a two goal deficit once again. But the Warrior goaltender, Rorick Appleby, showed some really strong signs through that third period. Great little tip save there on that attempt. The Warriors had a shorthanded chance of their own. Sean Cohane couldn't get to his backhand and it was forced off the right pad of the goaltender in Parker and away from the net as the Smoke Eaters had their opportunities as well. Adam Marshall with a chance for the left faceoff circle. Appleby aggressively out to the top of the crease, able to make that save and hang on and uh, keep that puck out of the net. But Trail kept coming. Another great save by Appleby on Jason Stefanik in front. But as that play continued, it's Ethan Warner from the blue line who's able to push it past the left side of the goal center in uh, Appleby. So the goal for the Smoke Eaters getting this game to three or getting this game to 5-4. Warner, his hat trick marker on the power play at 11-33 before at 13-50. A broken stick of Jack Ketza has the puck bounce off the end boards. And it's Jason Stefanik at the side of the net in the right circle to put it home at 13.50. Stefanik's 13th of the year gives the Smoke Eaters a 5-5 tie. Appleby once again continue to be strong in that third period in which Trail outshot West Kelowna 14-6 in the third period. Off to overtime we go and chances at both ends before it's the Smoke Eaters who would come away victorious. 154 into the overtime period, a precarious bounce off the end boards on a shot by Adam Marshall, comes off the end wall and off of Ridge Dawson into the back of the net. Dawson's 20th goal of the season, 154 into the overtime period, and it's Trail that comes away with a 6-5 overtime win here at Royal LePage Place. And we're joined by...